Do you know who's the ancient master leading humanity toward World War III? The real weapon of mass destruction that was built into your brain without your consent. And what does that have to do with cookies? I'm Dr. Daniel and welcome to the Brain Lab. So this is your brain. And this is what brains looked like 25 million years ago. Like your phone, it has evolved through time but not in the way you might think. Instead of replacing old parts, new ones were layered on top of them. Which means some old brain structures are still running the show. Creepy, right? You'll soon understand why. But first, let me tell you what the latest update to your brain hardware. The neocortex represents 90% of your brain cortex, which is a wrinkled sheet that covers the brain. It handles languages, problem solving, decision making, eventually all what makes you intelligent. However, it comes at a cost. It burns through 44% of the brain energy budget. So, something was need to be done in order to cut these expenses. And here where the old brain steps in. To make your heart beat, your lung function, your body to do his duties, all automatically and with minimum charge. This efficiency frees up neocortex to focus on high order tasks. Inventing nuclear pumps, for example. Now, beside these crucial survival skills, old brain also generates raw emotions while neocortex tries to analyze and interrupt them and here's where things get messy let's say there's a man living in a jungle thousands of years ago the old brain says i'm hungry i want to eat neocortex responds i remember seeing some food there but i've also seen a tiger lurking there the old brain goes are you insane forget it i don't want to eat anymore this dynamic between old brain emotions and neocortex reasoning has shaped human behaviors. Unfortunately, it can also lead to conflicts, because old brain priorities isn't aligned with modern life, rather for surviving. So I think you already have a glimpse what cookies have to do with this. Let's imagine you're on a diet. This decision likely came from neocortex. I've gained weight, I must eat healthier. But the old brain doesn't have a concept of dieting. It's programmed for survival. So it goes, that looked delicious, I want it now. I don't care about diet. Then the neocortex will or won't resist depending on your decision, but often the old brain wins. And you end up eating these cookies. Billions of dollars are spent annually on gyms, weight loss programs and medications. Yet, no one is addressing the root problem. An ancient brain driving our behaviors. Now, emotions gives rise to desires, more dangerously motives and purposes. Imagine what someone can do for a cause he believes in, as well as fulfilling his desires. Crimes, rapes, dictatorship. For instance, I want food, I want sex, I want power. When these desires can't be resisted anymore, neocortex might step in to justify these impulses saying, all right, let's manipulate others to achieve these things. So it's not always a battle between neocortex and the old brain. Sometimes they collaborate with neocortex surrendering completely. It's also crucial to highlight that the old brain isn't inherently evil. Its primary focus is survival and basic needs. The terrifying reality is that the neocortex has invented tools and technologies that the old brain can't understand. So the question is, so what happens if someone very important is driven by old brain orders? I will leave that for you in the comment section.